I'm Ward Cunningham. I made the first wiki 17 years ago. And, and that was a time where people were kind of first learning to know what the web even was. And, and they were not sure why they needed to make content of their own on the web. I think that we're uh, in a situation similar to that now, but, but it's more about data and open data and the struggle to put open data on the web. And I want to show you some things I've done in a new wiki that are specifically about creating and sharing data that's important to all of us. And this, I've had the opportunity to work with the, uh, the people working on the Material Sustainability Index, and I'm really proud to have a chance to, uh, to learn about this and, and put it in a wiki context. It, it's organized as tiers, and I thought we should uh, visualize each tier individually. So this is this is uh, the complete data set. At this point, it was 52 materials, 20 columns for each material. And, and I reduced that data set to a little icon, kind of like uh, an icon, a, 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 a thumbnail of a, of a photograph. This is a thumbnail of a data set. It tells you it's 52 uh, materials, 20 uh, uh, numbers. I, I can actually roll through those numbers and kind of see. Now, here I'm seeing column averages, the average uh, uh, water intensity here is 10.13. Uh, but if you really wanted to see it in its whole, uh, this is where I start uh, getting interesting in visualizations. Here's a visualization that shows all 52 materials, and this is looking at the total score versus uh, the, the water intensity. I, uh, uh, I have just a little bit of data in here, but cotton is one of my favorite. I can dig into cotton here and uh, uh, see the details on it. I can also move these around and look at uh, how they distribute on different parameters. This is, uh, this is interesting to see uh, uh, who's good at what and who isn't. But when we get down to an individual material, you might want to compare that. Here I'm seeing the actual values for that material and compare it uh, to another material. Of course, polyester looks pretty good. Uh, but, but again, I, I like to have a specialized kind of chart. This is uh, one where we put uh, uh, the cotton and the polyester on these uh, 19 different parameters in a chart uh, with footnotes here that will uh, call up details about why each scores particularly well on, uh, on each different thing. And, and again, we can uh, spin that chart around to, uh, to orient it to whatever material we have or whatever property we happen to be looking at. Now, what excites uh, my computer geeky friends is they didn't even actually realize this was possible, that I could pull uh, all these pages together and get them working together this interactively. But, but what's important from a material science point of view is that this material is going to come from a lot of different sources and being able to uh, make decisions both about what are the best sources but, but also what are the best materials once we know have good data about sources. Here's where I get excited about uh, being able to mix data from different sites. And I'm going to flip over to a different site here. Here's a very small site. I imagine this is somebody with a, with a highly specialized material that they're very proud of and want to see it represented. I've only added uh, three pages to this. Here they are. Uh, one is a new welcome page. Another is a revised tier two material summary. Uh, and, and here I see the cotton that we mentioned before. Now, now when I click on cotton, because I don't have cotton on this site, it knows enough to go retrieve it from this other site. Same with uh, polyester. But if I then say, well, let's look at this new material, and this is admittedly fabricated data just for the demonstration, but I can, I can say, take that cotton and take this cotton and look at them side by side. And so now when I ask for a chart, I get uh, charts that are very similar. But notice how the, the variance stands out. Again, I have this uh, dramatic behavior. But, but if you look at the, 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 the little flag in the corner of each page, tells where what site that was retrieved from. And, and look at this. I'm just bouncing back and forth between different sites and pulling this information together. And, and I think that that's something that is going to be really important as we're looking to get the best data, to make the best decisions, to move forward in uh, a sustainable way.